Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Karen Greer. We have a lot of news to get to you. One of them, rising COVID cases prompting widespread responses from Metro Atlanta school districts. We understand protests against mask mandates in Douglas County popped up on the first day of school. We've seen similar events all across Metro Atlanta as districts introduce new measures to keep students safe and educators actually safe as well. Tuesday, Georgia's seven day average rose above 4,000 cases. That's almost 11 times higher than when cases bottomed out in late June since the pandemic began. Georgia has had more than 940,000 people test positive for the virus. Now, cases are expected to grow as children and educators return to the classroom. CBS 46's Sabrina Silva live in Henry County right now. That's where hospitals are now facing a huge COVID related health crisis. What are they trying to do there, Sabrina? Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Karen. Well, as you know, the county has actually issued a state of emergency because their hospitals, well, they're at full capacity because of COVID-19. Yet the first day of school here at Henry County Schools, masks are still optional. Good morning, Bulldog Pups. It's that time, it's that time. First day of school. Please take your places. Your babies are coming in. These kiddos are coming into Dutchtown Elementary School, excited to be back in the classroom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Sherry Green is the principal here, and though most of the 4,300 Henry County students were able to return to in-person learning last year, she hasn't seen some of her students since the beginning of the pandemic. It's like a, a grand reopening, and we're just bringing them in with open arms. In this district, masks are staying optional, but they're strongly recommending it. I am a ball of nerves. This is Tiffany McGee. Today, she's dropping her daughter, Chloe, off at school a little on edge, especially because Henry County just issued a state of emergency in response to an uptick in COVID-19 cases, and her daughter is asthmatic. I wish that all teachers had on their masks, but I bought a barrier for my daughter to go around her, and she's double masked. So I've done what I can to protect her. The good news is that the school district is shifting its focus to getting the county's 36% vaccination rate up. They're giving teachers and staff who were vaccinated or plan to get the shot before October $1,000. It is about leading people through this not back to what we did when we didn't know anything about it. Um, and leading people through that is through a vaccine. So these kids can continue learning inside the classroom. Have a nice day. Now I do want to mention here that not every student is going to in person learning. There are about 5000 students here in the county that have chosen to learn virtually in Henry County. I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News. Those children very excited to be back at school. It looks like Sabrina. Thank you.